Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to write math arrays. Now, math arrays are used to express multiplication expressions, but using symbols or expressions, and they employ the uh, columns and rows, and it's a pictorial way to use math facts. So, what you want to think about is, the first number is going to involve columns, and the second number is going to involve rows. So if you have, for example, 5 times 3, understand that it's 5 columns and 3 rows, and you're using pictures, uh, whether it be uh, triangles, squares, even uh, if you want to draw humans, that's another way to think about it. But the idea is you're using a pictorial representation to represent multiplication. So just as a brief example, using 5 times 3, let's just use triangles as an illustration. So columns here, five columns, that means we're going to have five columns and we're going to use triangles to represent that. So these triangles represent the five columns. Now in terms of three rows, we're just going to write this two more times for a total of three rows. So we're going to write a row number two of five triangles and row number three of five triangles. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to count the total that's there so you can give you an idea as to what the five times three is going to be. So as you can tell, since there's 15 triangles, that means that five times three is going to give you 15. If anything, this allows folks who are learning math at a young level, the elementary kids on up to figure out, or even kindergarten to figure out basic multiplication going forward. So if you understand how this method works, you could teach it in a pretty early age. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a demonstration on how to use math arrays.